Hi everybody, this is Odd Samurai, and today I'm gonna be reacting to uh, Chainsaw Man Chapter 134. Uh, I've all <laughs> I've seen uh, something of it, but it's not. I don't think it's something that you know. It's very big. It's just like it looks like um, it was a panel of like Denji brushing Naita's hair. So I don't think it's a big deal, but I'm just telling you anyway. First off, though, well, let's talk a little bit more about last week's chapter, shall we? So first off, I'm not going to talk about much about uh, the protesters, either from, you know, the supporters of Chainsaw Man or the ones that are against them. It's just, I don't really have much to say about it. Other than, oh, that's interesting world building. It's just the way that, he, that Yoshida is using it. As a way to like drive a point home uh, for Denji. I mean, uh, the, that point did not get driven home, <laughs> but he tried. And yeah, it's also just the way that it's basically a backdrop for their conversation. Because, you know, Yoshida obviously took them there so Denji could see why this is like a, a big deal and just the way that then just like I, I don't understand why some of these people would want me dead and Yoshida just gives the, the simple answer they don't like you and then she's like oh, oh okay like my my boy just was not able to like realize that on his own like he's just he's He's just like I, I, you know, I should, I should. He's he's a very people pleaser, which I feel like it doesn't feel like that on first impression about him. But considering you know, part one and stuff, and you know, <laughs> yeah, I I can definitely see that. He's just very desperate for. Uh, people to show affection to him so when they don't it's like ah, I don't I don't get it until it's pointed out to him and then uh, reversely he's like then why why are there two factions who are they fighting and Yoshi is like well the people the people that they like the people that like you and then just response first we get a zoom in on his eye but then his response is, it feels kind of nice having people fight over me. Which is <laughs> kind of heartbreaking. Because it's like, he's been shown so little love from people in general. Uh, that just he, he will uh, receive it in any shape that it, that it comes to him. And yeah, I just the way that he's thinking right now, I really feel like he's gonna regret it in the future. Future, just simply because he's just not the type of person that would actually feel glad or happy when people actually like get killed or die because of him. Like. Yeah, let's let's just let's just live it like that. Let's not, you know, uh, ignore just you know who power and Aki are to him for a moment, and just you know talk about you know just regular civilians. Like otherwise, he wouldn't you know care at all when people were being killed by the by the gun fiend. So, like for a moment, he was about to give up, but. He just couldn't stand it. So if we go into the chapter and Yoshida just keeps uh, explaining this and basically uh, saying, you know, all of this is happening because you keep turning into Chainsaw Man. And he keeps building up to it and then he goes on to say, you know, if you keep doing that, then, you know, Nayuta Mm, you know, we're gonna ask, do something to get rid of Naita. Oh, something interesting that I do want to point out is that um, 
Where is it? Where is it? Like he mentions Asa. Asa at some point. That you know. Oh no 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 no. This this was last. Uh, I was this the the one I'm thinking of is one thirty two, when he had him you know, uh, strapped to a chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay never mind never mind. <laughs> completely completely ignore that. But then Denji is asked you know. Uh, what can I do to see Naita and the dogs? And then Yoshida just says, just don't do anything. Meaning, you know, never transform into Chainsaw Man again. And then this just completely appalled by this order? Oh, just, you know, by this ultimatum. And then oh, Yoshida continues on. If you keep turning into Chainsaw Man, we will be showing you Nayuta's corpse. Like, this is not a, you know, a suggestion. This is basically a threat. And Yoshida looked... Granted, it's really hard to, to talk about Yoshida's demeanor <laughs> without seeing his eyes. Uh, but he looked pretty confident and just pretty calm in this part of the chapter. And obviously Denji just looks pretty worried. Not so much that he's like sweating, but he, he this is when he starts to really took it, take it seriously. And actually uh, consider Yoshida's words. And that, this is when Yoshida starts going, I heard that you want to live a normal life. So just stop transforming and that dream will come true. With Nayota at your side. This is your chance to be human again, Denji. And then we see Denji all, all like uh, forlorn and just like all his hair um, uh, covering his eyes. You'll go to the school, same as always. <laughs> and I saw some people like comment about this. That he, that he sneaks in this line. I can even hang out with you as a friend. Now, why would Yoshida say that when Denji hasn't uh, explicitly shown any desire or in interest in becoming his friend? So, this is just, you know... He, Yoshida, Yoshida really did not have to do to say that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, Yoshida actually does want to become uh, Denji's friend. He actually wants to uh, form a connection with him, but he just does not know how to other than use his methods. Granted, these methods are like, you know, obviously he was told to from higher ups by public safety, but I doubt they made him say this line in particular. And then you can uh, finish that with, you'll go home to those who love you, Nayuta and the dogs. Leave us a human, Denji. You'll be happy enough even without being Chainsaw Man, won't you? Now, I, I've also seen some people say that he's so invested on Denji having a, no, a normal life, not because of uh, what he said to him back in like uh, chapter 103, I think. You know, the one with the, the cake date. Um, but also because Yoshida kind of sees himself in Denji. Mm. In the way that he he's uh, he also wants to have a normal life, but the uh, but he would actually take this deal if he could, and well, yeah, he he feels like frustrated because you know it was like why aren't you taking this? I would, so why won't you? And there's also you know the, uh, another angle you could see it well like. Public safety is the only place where Yoshida has any kind of real power. Well, he doesn't, but he feels like he, do he does. So he's trying to use that in, or in order to, you know, like I said, feel like he has some sort of like power in his life by trying to force Denji into a choice. But then Denji's like, I want to be Chainsaw Man though. Like, I, I want everybody to pay attention to me. I don't want to just get rid of the only 
um, the only path I have for people to actually show love to me uh, that aren't like, like, you know, basically family to me. And Chainsaw Man is the only way he can achieve that. Or he thinks that he can achieve that. I still want Denji to actually give up on that and just, you know, actually just be Denji the whole time. So that he can see that people can actually love him without, you know, the face of Chainsaw. And then this is when <laughs> Yosh just it starts to get confused. Like, I, I don't think you understand. And uh, repeats the threat. But then she's just like, well, I don't want that either. But I don't want to stop being Chainsaw Man. So he's kind of like split in half. It's super hard for him to make this decision. And it's also, yeah, not a decision that, you know, he should be forced to make. It's something that he should be able to uh, make on his own. Otherwise, you know. It's kind of going in the whole thing once again of like control, don't think for yourself, just do what I tell you to. Like he's trying to find a third option, you know, I give you A or B, choose. And then, then she's like, no, but I want C. And just, yeah. The time has come for you to choose between Naita's life and your greedy desires. Yeah, it's kind of like I said before, like the cake situation. I got, you know, your utensils so you cannot eat cake. So then just try to find the option where he can just eat the cake with his own hands. But he cannot, he can't find it in this situation. So he's like, I choose two choices. And this is when Yoshida gets up. And it starts kind of necessary, not necessarily not yelling, but more so like um, <laughs> raising his voice. And this is where he kind of looks and said, don't you care if Nayuta dies? And this is when Denji just out and shouts, you know, basically for the protesters to kill Yoshida. And Yoshida's reaction is very, I want to say telling. Like, you, we only see his, uh, from like his lips all down to his neck. And it's like... You gotta wonder why Fujimoto put that extra panel before showing us his whole face. And I want to believe it's because uh, Denji saying that, you know, like actually uh, making it seem like he wants Yoshida dead. That actually hurt Yoshida's feelings. But he masks it with, you know, he's even dumber than I thought. And then, you know, Denji and Naita get reunited. And then, you know, this is also like, it's too soon to let them meet. Huh? You aren't done yet? So it looks like public safety isn't really relying that much on Yoshida's tactics. And just, you're, they're like, eh, we'll, 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 we'll do with this. Unless it was Kishibe who was with Naita. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I'm, I'm on Hopium, but I would like to believe that. Yeah, and then after being told that, this is when Yoshida gets the face with the whole sweat all over him. Because, yeah, he has no real power in this, either in this organization or in his uh, relationship with Denji. And even though, yeah, yeah Naita tells basically Denji to tell, tell Yoshida to, to F off. Denji doesn't do it. Now, whether he actually is trying to understand where Yoshida is coming from, or because Denji is just grateful that Naita is already back with him, it's hard to say. But that's that's all I wanted to say for last chapter. I know I rambled on for way longer, and some people are like, you already said that. I know, but I still wanted to linger on it because I, I really liked last week's chapter. So, yes, enough of that. Let's start with 134, shall we? Okay. 
The way Chainsaw Man fights is outrageous. Destroying buildings makes him no different from the devils. Who's going to pay for all that property damage? And the title, uh, the title of the chapter is Ordinary Happiness. Oh boy. That's what Yoshida was trying to tell Denji that, you know, this is what you want, right? You're not gonna get it by becoming Chainsaw Man. There are reports that Chainsaw Man was involved in the recent disappearance of that aquarium too. <laughs> well, he was there, but Chainsaw Man did not appear. The Falling Devil, right? That was nuts. If Chainsaw Man hadn't beaten her, we'd have had a real Nostradamus on our hands. Nostradamus is coming for real, don't you think? Mm, so you have like the two sides, the ones that are against Chainsaw and the ones that are grateful for him. Chainsaw Man showed up at our school before too, yeah, with the Yuko incident. If he beats Nostradamus, wouldn't want our school be legendary? Mm, I do wonder how this is gonna affect uh, Denji's thoughts on what he couldn't decide on. Then again, you know, not deciding is also a decision. And we, the more we get down into this page, the, the more uh, we zoom in on Denji's face. Maybe to see how much it's affecting him. Nostradamus isn't the devil, you know? And then they laugh. Mm. Okay, here we go. This is the panel that I saw. Uh, he was uh, hair drying Nayuta's hair. That's cute. The news is talking about that Chainsaw Man church again. They're saying there's a bunch of brainwashed, dangerous kids. Mm, and then she just looks so tired, man. Look, they're fighting the police. Oh my god, look at Denji's face here. He just... Uh, he's just like, I don't want any of this. Denji, look! The church's days are numbered, though. Because I'm not going to turn into Chainsaw Man anymore. Okay, so he did make a decision. But he didn't do it when Yoshida was pressing him. It's only until he had more time to think. Huh? You aren't. If I do, you'll die. I can't anymore. Okay. So he chose. He chose his... He, the little family he has over... Over his own desires and goal. When he told me I can't be Chainsaw Man, it felt like I died inside. But then I thought about it. And I'm pretty content with the life I have now. Nothing beats a normal life. Mm. But we, cent we center only on his mouth. We don't see his eyes. Do you really think that? Ooh, she's challenging this. Huh? Yeah. Do you really think nothing beats a normal life? Damn, she's really being insistent. Mm, I do. I do, right? Mm, okay, wow. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> because, you know, the yeah, remember the panel of Coveney and him? That's still my favorite panel of the whole series, and that's what I keep thinking about. And he was like, all these bad things keep happening to me and all that. He's like, I don't want that. I just wanted a normal life. And then Kobeni hits him with the, but isn't that normal though? In the normal life, both good things and bad things happen. So he was okay with it. But now, he's like, wait, do I want more than that? Mm. And it's... Mm, the fact that it's Nayuta actually saying that, and the way that she's... Are you really gonna be happy with that, basically? She's not being, like, you know, straight up, uh... Oh, don't worry about me, we'll figure something out, just keep doing your thing. It's, you know... Are you sure that you want to give this up? Hmm. Oh my god, Nayata with the dogs. Oh my god, that the door. <laughs> door PTSD and chainsaw man. Stop it. 
Hey, Pochita, for us, this life is like heaven, right? But like, despite that, it's like now I'm dreaming of, it, of an even higher heaven. Mm, yeah, every time he got something, it would, you know, it keep escalating to something even bigger for the goal that he was trying to reach in part one. We can be happy with what we got, right, Pochita? We don't need to keep fighting. And that, that was the thing, right? Like, remember when he started? He was like, oh, yeah. And I, I have some goals and some desires, but it, it's fine if I don't reach them. I can't anyway. So I'm just gonna try to stay content with what I have. That's kind of the the feeling that I'm getting right now. So it, it all, it's all <laughs> kind of just indicating that this is not really... Not necessarily the right choice, but it's like, you know, he's not gonna be happy with... Uh, with this going forward if if this is really how he feels oh my god Nyaku! Miaui you can't sleep either Miaui uh that's right I drink this vegetable juice every day I wake up feeling more refreshed now oh my god dingy so, dingy zombie face just looking at the screen when I recommended it to my grandpa oh he's changing the channel you see, golf is all about, again, setting your belief in Chainsaw Man aside. I can't accept your organization. Oh, and that's where he left it. Recruiting students with no real world experience, fighting protesters. I hear you kids are out there playing devil hunter, killing devils every night. Do you have any idea, idea how worried your par parents must be? How do you people intend to take responsibility for the lives that have been lost to playing Chainsaw Man? Oh shit, it's Haruka. As for our Devil Hunter activities, we notify the city and the Ministry of Defense in advance. Also, we are active Devil Hunter club members at school. We have real-life combat experience. This is not just a game for us. To us. We're not seeing his face. The, the, the hat is covering it. Covering them. Only those of us who have accepted Chainsaw Man's teachings work as Devil Hunters. What's wrong with following one's sense of justice to save Japanese citizens in an act of self-sacrifice? Oh, and another thing, we hear this Chainsaw Man's teaching scrap uh, bandied about, but it's not as he, as though he gave you them directly, right? Mmm, he has. Okay, already lying more than he... I was gonna say more than he needs to, but... Mm, he's trying to win a debate. What's the goal in this, Pammy? Huh? If you prefer, I can let you hear Chainsaw Man speak for himself now? <gasps> Bro, is he gonna bring big... <laughs> is he... Is, does he have big Chainsaw Man with him? Huh? What? <laughs> Bro, you're shitting me! Did you just make the hardest decision of his life? Uh, because... Of what the public thinks of him, and now someone else oh, is gonna pretend to be him, so people are still gonna project their feelings onto that person, even though that's that Denji. Okay, okay, I see you, Fujimoto. This has been definitely the reason of why you introduced Take Chainsaw Man in the first place, isn't it? <laughs> and he's just looking back, like, what the hell? And he, uh, he wants to call, I'm guessing, to the, to, you know, the channel. <laughs> Bro, he's, he's so flustered about it. I mean, he should. He's being impersonated. Well, he's seen the person before, <laughs> you know? When he, he was uh, helped out by them during the falling devil fight. And they, they told uh, Asa and Denji, you know, you should... Do, do this so you can um, survive until morning. Only now they're just thinking, wait, that could be a problem. <laughs> what? We can talk to Chainsaw Man? No one mentioned that in the meeting. Nobody told me either. Let's call them together. Here we go. Chainsaw Man! <gasps> Greetings! I'm Chainsaw Man! <laughs> oh my god. All those people that were saying, that's Seiji, isn't it? Oh, that's gotta be Seiji. They all have the Devil Hunter Club uh, hats. 
but I did that has to be him. He's the only one aside from uh, Brobeni and Haruka that we've met from the Devil Hunter Club that could that could have become somewhere relevant in the future. It's gotta be Seiji. I'm coming to you from the Chinzo Man Church. Da! Yeah, Denji's reaction is very apt. Yes, the rumors are true. My body is halfway between human and devil. I gained the power to turn into Chainsaw Man in the fateful encounter with the Justice Devil? What the hell? That's, okay, that's definitely true for the person that is speaking, uh, but that's not true for Denji. I, I, I mean, oh, that, that makes sense though, that they wouldn't be able to try and come up with another elaborate backstory because they don't know how actually Denji became Chainsaw Man. The reason I fight... I fight to protect, no, I fight to create a world without devils. In a devilless world, Adam and Eve will wrong. I know, Denji, I know. This is obviously not at all why you, why you fought as Chainsaw Man. Denji, I never thought that stuff. I don't fight for any reason. I died a gazillion times and next thing I knew, next thing I knew, People were calling me Chainsaw Man on their own. Your guy isn't Chainsaw Man. Oh my god, he's crying. Bro, he's tearing up. Th th that's, that's how... That's how much this is affecting him. Like, wow. The only times ever before I think that we've seen him cry is... Um, is when Aki died. Uh, right after... He said goodbye to power in the uh, in the trash can thingy, and I think uh, he cried when you know that scene when he looked at the TV with Kishibe and Ch and Kaweni, and he was like, "Oh, they all love me." Oh, this is pretty big. Oh God. Oh, Denji. Oh my god, the, 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 the position that he's in, yeah, it definitely reminds me of, you know, they all love me, but it's like, but he's definitely sad about this, which is the opposite of that. I'm more chainsaw man than him, and Naita is just patting him in the back going, there, there, wow, and that's the end of the chapter. Ugh. Wow, I did not expect this chapter to to really delve into uh, what Denji has been feeling like this much. <laughs> like if you noticed, there is no um, there is no uh, what's it, what you call it thought bubble. There are no thought bubbles for Denji. You only get his. Well, you only get to see, you know, his expressions and what he speaks. So therefore, you have to um, uh, take more effort to figure it out. I mean, he's a pretty transparent guy, but he still thinks. And really thinks about he what he wants to do, and what he does or doesn't feel. God, that that was that was a lot. Ordinary happiness. Yeah, this this has to be. This has to be one of my favorite uh, chapters of part two so far. <laughs> From uh, Denji's uh, conversation with Nayuta about, you know, I'll stop Chainsaw Man, I'll, I'll stop being Chainsaw Man because nothing beats a normal life. Now I really do feel like he's just saying this to himself because he feels like he has no other choice. If he wants to protect uh, Nayuta. And it seems like at the moment he given up on, you know, 
on um, reaching for higher heights and it's just you know let's just protect what we have instead of going for more and now you tell someone that's like are you sure though are you really sure like i want to make sure that you know you're, you're doing this because you want to not because i'm basically holding you back and you know he basically says uh yeah but then you know goes to the toilet and basically consults pochita and he obviously like usual he doesn't get any verbal response but this is just this is just how dangerous is processing it and like yeah this is the best we've had it uh for a while so why why am i not satisfied yeah despite that now i'm dreaming of an even higher heaven but yet we just we gotta be happy with what we got right pochita we don't need to keep fighting mm. Oh my god, I'm really curious what other people are saying about this and how they're analyzing Denji through this chapter. Yeah, but after that, after he uh, <clears throat> supposedly co uh, successfully convinces himself that, yeah, this is good, yeah, this is good, uh, then we see him, you know, turn to the TV and just try to distract himself instead of sleeping. And continues changing the channel until he gets to this chainsaw man debate thing. And we get to see Haruka again. Who, yeah, obviously has to be being controlled by Femi once again. I don't think any of what he's saying. It's hard to say what he believes and what he doesn't believe. It, it, I don't know, maybe he actually does believe that, um, I'm just gonna say Seiki, because that's, that has to be him. <laughs> but they didn't say, like, his actual name, they just said, oh, this is Chainsaw Man. I mean, after all, no one really knows that Denji is Chainsaw Man, so, for all he knows, this is the truth. I don't know if there's something also about, uh, that is uh, the timing for taking off his hat. If you prefer, I can let you hear Chinsa Man speak for himself now. Mm. And obviously, the person deb debating with him is just confused. But obviously, the person that obviously knows Chinsa Man could obviously not be right there. He's like, what the hell? And then he goes in to look at the telephone to see, like, uh, sh should I call? <laughs> like, what? Uh, what is going on? And then, but the, you know, the TV program still continues on. Let's call them together. Here we go, Chainsaw Man. And then we see a panel of, you know, a bunch of people doing that. And we get a panel of just... Denji from like here to here and we just see him continue sweating and like having like a nervous smile not not a smile but just being like still baffled and then we see who I presume to be Seiki uh going you know greetings I'm Chainsaw Man with uh two uh Devil Hunter Club members side side to side by him and then he says he's part of the chainsaw man church mm. i do yeah this this gotta be a point where uh the devil hunter club's lies are just gonna poof crumble i don't know at what point but i mean to mm. I don't think this is like problem for like Denji's daily life that he's supposedly chosen 
After all, why would people bother him about this if most people don't know he's Chainsaw Man? Other than public safety. And public safety completely know Denji's face. So they're not gonna like... I... They shouldn't. Like obviously Yoshida can just see this and be like, yeah, that's, that's not Chainsaw Man. So I don't think there's any like consequences from this. Uh, in that front, it's more so uh, Denji just being like, more so Denji's mental and emotional state. The, those are the consequences of this. Just being completely torn that everything that he's done up to this point is going to be attributed to someone else for completely different reasons that he that he doesn't care about. Yeah, I've never thought that stuff. I don't fight for any reason. He, the moment he became Chainsaw Man, he was, he, he was forced to fight by public safety. He never had a choice of being Chainsaw Man. I mean, Pochita, like, put himself as Denji's heart, despite Denji not wanting to. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. I died a gazillion times and next thing I knew next thing I knew people were calling me Chainsaw Man on their own. Your guy is in Chainsaw Man. Oh man, seeing Denji's face actually makes me makes me emotional. Like he's so desperate for people to to realize that this is not the guy that they supposedly have been hating or loving. And he just cannot take it. Ugh, okay. Well. This is gonna be my reaction to Chainsaw Man chapter 134. If you enjoyed my reaction, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.